Hi there, everyone. Today we're taking a look at uh, region renders in uh, Reaper. And I'll be showing you a very quick way of uh, rendering down regions to uh, separate files. Very often I'm uh, recording uh, band rehearsals, live gigs and uh, things like that. And so I've been looking for a quick way of uh, rendering uh, time selections, items or regions into uh, separate files. So that I can quickly share with the bandmates or uh, people I'm mixing for. And after doing a bit of research I found a way that's uh, very quick. What I've got here is a stereo uh, file that I recorded at one of my band's latest uh, rehearsals. Just a couple of plugins on it. And I'll split it up into separate items, done fades and all that stuff. And what we want to do first now is uh, creating separate regions for each item. And this can be done very quickly. First thing we have to do is select all the items on this uh, track. And you do that by double clicking in the track control panel. There we have them all selected. For what I'm doing here, I've set it up in the toolbar, but I'm going to show you how to uh, find it in the action list. What you search for here is uh, create regions from uh, selected items. We have that one at the bottom here. Do note that you need the SWS extension for this to work, as this uh, function isn't included in uh, Reaper uh, to begin with. Just run that action, and you can now see we have regions for each individual item ready to go. Next thing we want to do then is uh, naming these uh, regions. And for that, we're going to use the um, Region and Marker Manager. For this, I'm going to do it very simple. Just use a numbering. And say if you're... Uh, if you mixed a long uh, live recording, uh, you'll want to uh, input the uh, names of the songs or uh, whatever you want. Next up now is going into the render matrix. And typically we'll want the master uh, mix. Once you've selected all the regions you want, Open the render window. An important thing here now is uh, selecting the source region render matrix. So now see you have uh, six regions ready to be rendered. Choose the directory you want uh, the files to go. And typically I'll use the region wildcard for the file name. So once they're exported, they'll have the correct uh, names of the files that you want. And obviously there are a whole lot of other wildcards that you can add as well. And then you have the normal options for uh, file formats, sample rates, and all that stuff. And once you're happy with all your settings, just click on Render Files. In this case, the whole process is uh, done in about uh, five minutes. I've already rendered these ones, so I'm not going to do it again now. And as we've uh, shown in the previous uh, setup uh, videos, I really recommend uh, that you um, include functions that you use very often uh, in the top uh, toolbar. It saves you a whole lot of searching and uh, menu uh, browsing. And doing it uh, this way, you can speed up your workflow a whole lot. And a final tip. It's always a good idea to import uh, these files into a new project and double checking that everything uh, works as it should. So let's do that. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions uh, related to this, do ask them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to this channel. 
as well as uh, Reaper related stuff. I also do uh, videos on uh, more general recording and mixing things. And I'll see you in the next video.